Hey Math 43, I have another problem of the day for us. So if we take a look at this, it looks like our variable here is uh, number of minutes, right? And, and we're breaking that up over the number of minutes that these students do homework and the number of minutes that these students watch TV. So I, I ripped this off of the interwebs. If I had been oops, making this, I, I would have said, hey, you need to label your x-axis, right? So we could have gone, I don't know, I'll go low to high, 0 to 225. But this should have been time labeled here in minutes so that I had a little bit more context. And maybe I would have put a few more um, like tick marks along the axis just to divvy it up. But anywho, I got it from the internet, so so we'll roll with it. Roll with it. So this is what percent, and I, I want to take note that they're talking about a percentage, what percentage of the sophomores watch TV for at least 15 minutes a night? So if I'm on TV, that means I want to go with this box plot, and it says at least 15 minutes. And at least 15 means 15 minutes or more, right? Or you could think of it if you want a math symbol, it'd be greater than or equal to 15 minutes. So let's go to the TV box plot and see what we can find. And let me go ahead and just change my color on my pen. So here is 15 minutes, right? There it is. I know I wrote over the five there, but this is Q1, right? And that is the 25th percentile. What that means is 25% of sophomores watch TV for 15 minutes or fewer in a day, and that's not quite what we're being asked. We want 15 minutes or more. We wanna go this direction. And if this takes care of 25% of your data, then the rest of the chunk in here must be 75% of your data. So the answer to this problem is 75%. All right, so 75% of sophomores watch TV for at least 15 minutes a night because there was 25% in this quarter, 25% in this quarter, and 25% in this quarter. Because that's what a box plot does. It splits you up into quarters. Let me go ahead and erase that just so that we have a little bit more clear space there. All right, so for part B, it says, what is the third quartile for, again, the TV time? So I'm still on this box plot. And if I ever want to find the third quartile, I look for Q3. It's the upper end of your, your box. So there it is, Q3. And it looks like it is 110 and I will label it with its units. Every statistic has the same units as your variable, so that's gonna be minutes. And there, there we go. So this means 75% of students watch TV each night for 110 minutes or less, or you could do it the other way, 25% watch TV for 110 minutes or more. So the 75th percentile, let me write this here, it cuts off the bottom 75% from the top 25%. Okay, and then the next one says, hey, are there outliers present in the homework time data? So I'm, I'm finally gonna move up to this box plot. So again, let me just delete all the stuff we have here so it's a little bit cleaner. Oh, there we go. All right, so if I wanna figure out if there are outliers present, we, we have three steps to do this. So let's get the IQR. So my IQR is always Q3 minus Q1. Let's see what we have here. It would be um, 60 minus 20 in this case. So that's gonna give me 40. Whatever number you get for your IQR, you wanna multiply that by one and a half. So let's do one and a half IQRs. And what do we have here? 1.5 times 40, well that's actually gonna give me 60, okay? And then what I have to do is subtract that number from Q1 and at the same time add it to Q3. So let's see, in this case my Q1 was 20 and I'm gonna subtract 60. My Q3 was 60 and I'm gonna add 60. So what is my safety zone? It looks like it is negative 40 to 120. There is my safety zone. Okay, so let's go look. And again, keep in mind, I am going off of the homework time data. So in I like to go and look at the max and min to determine if there are outliers. So if I look at the min, it looks like the min on the homework time is zero. And zero is definitely in this safety zone. So I don't have any outliers on the left side, or I should say no outliers on low side. And I'll just take that note down. Okay, and then let's go look at the max. My max here is 190. Ooh, and 190 is definitely outside of my safety zone, right? It's, it's greater than 120. So I do have outliers present on the high side. Outlier, 
and I could say at least one outlier, I'll put right now, I don't know if it's plural, but I have at least one outlier on the high side of my data. So if I look at this question that was asked to me, are outliers present in the homework data? Yes, right? I do have outliers present and I've shown my work for that. Okay, so moving along there, we have a couple of true false statements. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna try and erase some of my work so this isn't quite so junked up. Uh, give me a moment. All right, so we've got that. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we have with these true false questions. So it says, some sophomores didn't watch TV that month. So at, first of all, they're talking about TV. So I'm going to be down on this box plot. So some sophomores didn't watch TV. Well, if you didn't watch TV, that would mean that the number of minutes you spent watching TV was zero. And if we look at that, we do have a minimum of zero. So if I look at that box plot, I do have a min of zero. So that means there are some sophomores that are watching no TV, at least one sophomore. One of the things with box plots, again, it's only it only takes five numbers to make up a box plot, right? It's only it's a five number summary. So I don't I don't actually know how many sophomores were in this survey. All right, but at least one sophomore said zero because my min over here was zero. And then it could have been that a few of them said zero. I just, I, I literally don't know when it comes to box plots. All right, so that is true. All right, so let's look here. It says the TV box and whisker graph contains more data than the homework graph. Well, that one, I'm gonna squeeze this in. They're asking us to compare these two. But in terms of does it contain more data, you never really know when looking at a box plot how many observations you have. Like box plots don't tell you what the sample size is because again, they only use five numbers. But the big but for this problem is that it says they talked to the same group of sophomores. So it wasn't like they were at one high school talking about homework time and then another talking about TV time. This was the same group. So we can imply that the same number of, or the same data was coming out of each group, the same number of folks. So here, because the same group was surveyed, this answer is false. Or I should say this is a false statement. Um, let me try and squeeze that in here. So again, typically I wouldn't be able to answer any questions about sample size just looking at a box plot, but because they gave me a little bit of information in the setup, I actually can answer this question. All right, let's see what I says. It says 25% of sophomores spend between 20 and 60 minutes per night on homework. So I need to go to the homework box plot and look at um, 20 to 60 minutes and think about if that's a fourth of my data. So let me scroll back up here. Let's go to the homework box plot and I'm gonna zoom in on this for a moment. So I'm up here at the homework box plot. Let me erase some of my markings again, just so we, it's not so cluttered. All right, so if I wanna look, here's 20 minutes and 60 minutes. All right, and if you look, this is going from, this is spanning from Q1 to Q3, right? And the median is right in here. And so this is 25% of my data, and this is also 25% of my data. And just in general, the IQR, which is from Q1 to Q3, this is always the middle 50% of your data, right? And, and it's the same thing here. If I go from Q1 to Q3, this is also on the... TV time side of things, this is also the middle 50%. It's always the middle 50 when you're talking about going between the quartiles. So let's go look at the sentence that we're, we were given. It says 25% of sophomores spent between uh, 20 and 60 minutes. And again, this is the IQR, which is the middle 50%, which would tell me this is false. All right, because they said 25%, that's incorrect. Now, if this sentence had said 50%, then it would have been true, but it didn't, so it's false. Okay, so let me get that out of the way. It says, in general, these sophomores spend more time doing homework than watching TV. All right, so they're talking about comparing homework versus TV, and they say you spend more time doing homework than TV. And just my, my hunch would be no, I think even I tend to watch more TV than do homework when I'm in class. But all right, let's see what we have here. So let's go to the homework versus TV and start comparing it. And if they're talking about in general, that sounds like a measure of center. So again, let me clear out what we have. 
And if we take a look, I'll, I'll go with the median here. So it looks like the median homework time was 48 minutes and the median TV time was 60 minutes. So I would say if you look at the medians, right? So the median for TV was greater than the median for homework, right? So it looks like it's the opposite of what that sentence is saying. It actually looks to me like they spend more time watching TV than doing homework. So if I scroll back to the sentence, right, in general, these sophomores spend more time on homework than TV, false, right? And I would just say compare their medians. You could have also compared uh, the, the, the mean or the mode or the mid-range if you had it, but, but we don't have those numbers, so I'm just going to compare medians. All right, the TV data is more varied than the homework data. Now, when we talk about variance in terms of socks, that's the last S, all right? So we could talk about variance itself. You could talk about standard deviation, IQR. You could talk about range, or you could talk about spread. And in, in general, when it comes to box plots, I tend to stick with either the IQR or the range. I find those are the easiest to look for. So let's go look up here and see if is the TV data more varied than the homework. So if I, again, let me, let me clear out what I have here so that, oops, we have some room. All right, so if I look at the range for the homework time, it looks like the range is 190 minutes. Right. And actually, we just said here, just as a note, the IQR was what, 60 minus 20 is 40, right? And so let's compare that to the range for the TV. So range for TV looks like it's 225. The IQR here, well, that's 110 minus 15. So that's 95 minutes, right? So I can see on both fronts, if I compare this, 95 is greater than 40, Right? And in the same vein, right, I could say that 225 is greater than 190. Oh, and I just noticed I didn't put units on this. Let me put minutes here. So in general, the TV data is more varied than the homework data. And let's compare that to our sentence. The TV data is more varied than the homework data. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly what we're seeing. And I would say here you could compare, oh, I, I kind of wrote it, compare the range or compare the IQR. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.